Today, we'll be hatching an ice dragon and a water dragon in Dragon Defenders. First up, Coconut Laguna. This right here is our water dragon. We will call him Wokito. Wokito specializes in destroying and demolishing any boats that come towards my dragon eggs. And then later on in today's episode, we will be finding out where the ice dragons are hidden. These are the two secret dragons that you guys were commenting in the last episode that I had to find before trying to take on the entire kingdom. So it looks like we're gonna have some boats coming from the cove over there. We're gonna have some people coming out of this cave. And up top, we got a tent. So tent people are gonna come out of here. Probably circus clowns. And we gotta be ready for all of them. Tokito, gonna need you to smash. We'll see how this does. Why, hello there, little tiny bandits. That's right, everybody just continue to walk towards your death from the Wokitos. The boats are slowly sailing in. These pirates are about to get destroyed. I guess for fun, we could also add in a uh, fire Kito. Especially because, wait, there's a lot of guys coming from over here. Luckily, I do have a golden scimitar where I can slice these dudes right in the kneecaps. Fire Kito is engaging the boats. Let's see what the water dragons can do. These dragons have been hidden all the way out here for a very long time. Whoa, that's insane. So it looks like these dragons are the first dragons that we have that can just shoot a projectile that goes through multiple targets. So these dragons will be perfect if I can put them in a straight line. They'll be able to hit everything that comes down this way. That means I probably should have put this dude like right here so then he could hit everything coming down this little road. So sorry, Wokito. We gotta move you just a little bit. Much better. Oh, Okie doggy, we got an explosive boat. I feel like that's kind of dangerous to put TNT that's already lit on a boat. Like the people on board are probably going to explode, right? But they just don't care. Their only objective is to come and steal my dragon eggs and also all of my gold. Not today, <laughs> you giant scrub. Tokito probably needs an upgrade so he can become bigger and stronger. Every time I upgrade Tokito, it's pretty much just like giving him a bunch of steroids. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. You're going to die as soon as you get to Wokito. Meanwhile, Tokito is smashing the big boy giants that have the, <laughs> the club of meat. The club of meat does nothing to Tokito. He is unfazed by the meat. This is so sick. Look at it. Every single water pellet goes through every boat. It is so beautiful. And we can actually upgrade Wokito. Wokito is now level two and has beautiful wings. They're sending out horse archers from the caverns. I did not expect this whatsoever. Am I worried? Just a just like, like, like a tiny little bit. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Especially because they're moving quick. They're moving extra fast here. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to get on my scimitar. Ah, yeah, we're getting close. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, we're gonna need to get a boulder right there. If they destroy the nest, then the water dragons won't join my dragon army. So I gotta be super careful and make sure that we do not let that happen today. Oh, the TNT is getting close to Okito. Oh, <laughs> He took so much damage. I'm so sorry, Wokito. Please do not get mad. I need you to join my dragon army so that we can take down the dragon kingdom. Oh, they send in big boats. I'm honestly really sad that I'm not able to drop boulders on the boats. I can only put the boulders on land. Oh, what's up, little horsey? <laughs> this little horsey just got burned. It's a good thing to know, too, that our water dragons are actually able to hit both ground and also sea things. Maybe not air things. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a slight problem here. Oh, never mind. Okay, they all teamed up. This Wokito kind of got exploded, but that's okay. He is a warrior. Meanwhile, over here, Tokito is still slamming the giant meat brains. Yo, where the flip did these dudes come from? No, no, no. Please turn around. Go home. Nobody invited you to the party. Let's upgrade our water dragon to level three. In three, two, one. Boom. Yes. He got a little bit more blue and 10 times stronger. At least I hope he got 10 times stronger. I guess I can upgrade this dude to level two. <laughs> these dudes are getting blasted by fire and water. They're getting burned and cooled off, then burned and cooled off repeatedly. That's probably why they're dying. This is the final wave. If we can beat this, then we'll be able to add the water dragons to our army. Next up, the ice dragons. By the way, guys, if you haven't already, leave a like if you're enjoying this series. Uh, and then eventually in the future, I will continue to play more tower defense games. Some of you guys were commenting that you wanted me to try out Balloon's tower defense. So I'll make a deal with you guys. If this video can get 15,000 likes, I'll do it. Make sure you guys leave a like with your left thumb. If you do it right, the like button will turn blue. <laughs> the level three water dragon is godlike. Look at it. It is able to explode the team. 
TNT boats in one single water pellet shot. Okay, let's go check out on Tokito up here. Let's actually upgrade Tokito and also uh, fire Kito. I think they'll be able to take on everybody here. One more boat to go. Zero more boats to go. We did it. The water dragons have decided to help us. Now we can defend the seas as well. That'll come in handy later on in today's episode. So we were able to hatch the water dragon. Now we need to go find out where the secret ice dragon is. So I think we'll have to go back to the frontier wilds. Obviously, you can see it got a little snowy here. So there's probably the ice dragon. I found the ice dragon. That was easy. Let's see if we're able to unlock it. The ice dragons are having their treasure stolen too. Uh, they can slow down enemies, but not the wooden ones. That'll actually be huge. So if they're able to slow down the enemies, we can get all of our other dragons to attack even longer. Tokito, you will smash. I think that's actually it. It's the last of the troops. We're gonna make it. Let's upgrade this thing. Oh, it got shinier. And look, it has two floating ice crystals that are powering up it. It's beautiful. Yes! The ice dragons are thankful for our help. They said they'll help us rescue the golden sheep. Guys, that officially means we have unlocked every single dragon in Dragon Defenders. And we can now use them to take over the kingdom. We'll need them all to fight the boss battle. Counting sheep? Is it okay? Is it is the boss battle just going to be a sheep? Do I have to protect the sheep? It seems. I am very confused. The Dragon King said this farm is the perfect hiding place for a golden sheep. We need to keep these sheep safe as they reach the pile. Don't worry, baby sheep. Nobody will touch you. All right. So we got to worry about guys from here. Also from here, some dudes are going to be coming from this side. Also right here. And probably the flipping sky too. This is going to be our hardest challenge yet. Tokito, welcome back. Two fire Kitos should also be able to destroy anything coming directly for the sheep. I don't have the backside covered quite yet, but we'll figure that out eventually, right? Oh, I just realized I need a fairy dragon. If you guys missed out in one of the previous episodes, we needed the fairy dragon in order to uncover the sheep. They're actually peasants in disguise. So nobody else is able to see them quite yet. Okay, we're gonna add in a uh, fairy tower right here. What? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Oh, hold up. Wait, so wait, the sheep. I don't know if I actually need to destroy the sheep. Let's see what happens right here. Oh, wait, no, the sheep that are actually able to get there increase my health. So we need to protect the sheep coming towards my little tiny fenced in area here and then we have to kill the rest of the troops okay that's good to know look at these sheep they're so flipping cute they just roll right in and it's adorable and i just want to piss their cheeks get the peasants fire keto you guys are messing with the wrong sheep today <laughs> we're gonna kill them all i wonder what happens when they get all the way over here to my sheep that are peacefully going into their sheep den oh my gosh wait there's a lot coming down the center here oh this is bad double boulder trouble, boys. They're not getting through that easily. Okay, so far the strategy's working. Both of our earthquake dragons are able to smash them as soon as they get to the boulders and then they also get lit on fire by our fire dragons. I guess I didn't necessarily need to add in the little fairy dragon, but at the same time, it's cute and cuddly and it still does a lot of damage, so we're gonna keep it. I think the best bet is to try to upgrade our earthquake dragons since there's going to be so many ground units coming in and they're able to damage any ground unit around the area that it's actually located in. So all these horses that are coming directly towards my sheep are going to get smashed. I feel bad for the horses, but not for the people. Also, hold up, wait, there's sheep coming from over here as well. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen here. Okay, sheep. You might want to move a little bit quicker here. I was a little bit confused at the start, guys, but now I think we have the hang of this level and we should be able to beat it. It is a boss battle, though, so at the end, there's going to be some sort of giant unit coming down to try to destroy the sheep. Make sure you guys stick until the end for that. The more sheep I get, it looks like there's actually, like, more sheep inside of the den. On the right-hand side of the screen, you guys can probably also tell that my goal health is going up. So as long as I can continue to get sheep going inside of the little sheep den, we'll just get infinite health. And we're most likely gonna need it all. <laughs> it's gonna get sketchy at the end. Okay, guys, I'm thinking that we should just keep upgrading our earthquake dragons. So now we have one maxed out Tokito. Start the wave. It might be a good idea, too, to try out one of our Wokito water dragons here, since it's able to shoot through multiple enemies. So anything coming down this lane will get hit by the water pellets. I don't appreciate you trying to blow up all of my dragons. Get exploded. Beg up. Don't come any closer. They're all grouped up together. I can't get a good shot off. Die! Die? Oh, okay. Ran out of hits. So we're gonna have to use our dragon power here. Oh, wait, no! Tokito's too strong! <laughs> 
<laughs> He's killing our sheep. I don't think that's supposed to happen. I didn't even realize that was a possibility. Let's try to add a water dragon here to see if it shoots all the way down this lane. I might not even get a chance to see. Everything is getting destroyed by the earthquakes. <laughs> Look at them all drop. It's magnificent, boys. As long as our sheep are able to get all the way over to the sheep den before Tokito starts smashing things completely randomly and killing the sheep, then we'll be able to get our health at least a little bit more high before the boss battle comes. And it did not work. Tokito is smashing and killing the sheep in one single Hulk smash. Go sheep, go! Nope, I don't think we're gonna get any more health. And we really don't have that much to begin with. Wait a second, no. In the back, it doesn't look like these sheep are being affected. Sadly, bear Barely any sheep come through this back way. So we'll get a little bit more health, which is honestly better than what I thought. In the future, we'll need to teach our dragons that sheep are friends and not meant to be smashed to death. Tokito just doesn't understand that. I didn't actually realize this, but our fairy dragon does a lot of damage. It's just sprinkling magic particles on them. It's just pooping out fairy dust and somehow it's killing everything that comes in contact with it. It's almost like magical meteors are just falling down on all of my enemies and they're just disappearing. Let's upgrade it. <laughs> I forgot how amazing this looks. All of my boulders are pretty much cracked up. They're on their last legs and will probably die shortly. That's all right, though. Boulders only cost $10 and I can get so many more boulders. Look at that. Boom. Another boulder. Oh, I see. So these are the disguised sheep. Wait, they're coming in the back end. I have zero defenses in the back. Let's add a boulder. And we're also going to need to add another Cupid fairy tower. And then upgrade it immediately because this is my only form of defense in the back. Luckily, it seems to be working. <laughs> They're getting destroyed. Oh, this entire round is literally just disguised uh, peasants. Look at them all coming in. The only one that I'm kind of worried about is the wizard. And the wizard is now dead, so therefore all of my worries are also now dead. Or maybe not. These guys came so late to the party. And wait a second, the wizards are turning all of the peasants into disguised sheep. Luckily, our fairy dragon knows exactly how to get by this. As soon as they get up here, they're all toast. They're gonna get magic missile directly to the face and get concussed and die. <laughs> all right, here they come. And dead. And dead. We've exposed the wizard. That's right, white sheep. You come in. You look good. Yep, your clearance checks out. Black sheep, black sheep. Get them. Upgrade. Kill them all. It's literally a one hit KO. That's crazy. For good measure, we might as well also just add in an ice tower. That way the enemies will get slowed down slightly and then our fire dragon and our fairy dragon and then eventually our earthquake dragons will have more chances to get off hits. I am terrified, so I will be adding more boulders for extra protection and security. None of you will get to my beautiful pet sheep. I treat them like my, my children. Even though I have no children, if I had children, I would cheat them like the sheep. Look how cute they are. They're starting to stack up on top of each other because there's nowhere for them to go. At this rate, we might as well also add in a sniping thunderbolt dragon. Uh, bro, are you kidding me? The round is pretty much over. There's one catapult coming in so slow. Bro, just turn around, go home. Maybe watch some Netflix, make a snack, get yourself some cookies or something because you're going into death right now. There's like 10 dragons that are ready to kill you. Fairy dragon, please unleash a magic meteor. That didn't work. All right, now it's dead. Wave number seven. Uh, I think the boss one is going to be the next wave. A Thunderbolt dragon looks just about ready for an upgrade. That is a lot of wooden cards coming at us, boys. Uh, dragons, get ready. The kingdom also just sent in a massive armada of nothing. Knights. They just don't stop. Honestly, that must mean that we're close to getting the golden sheep for the dragon king and taking over the kingdom. Because why else would they be trying so hard to kill me? Boys, this is a lot. I'm getting a little bit worried, so let's upgrade our Thunderbolt dragon one more time. Just, you know, just for good measure. It can't hurt, right? So far, I think we're doing pretty okay. There's no massive boss that has come out yet. I'm honestly a little bit disappointed. I thought for sure the king would have sent somebody out here since I'm getting extremely close to taking over his castle. At this rate, we might as well just add in more earthquake dragons. The troops now get slowed down. They get electrocuted, which makes them even slower. And then they just get smashed by two huge earth dragons. As chief of dragons, I am immensely proud. This is going way better than expected. Plus, I also have 710 health. Wait, somebody just said yeehaw. Yo, who's saying yeehaw out here? Ooh. 
<laughs> it's a huge pig. It's it's a crazy farmer, bro. What is this thing? Uh, it's the batter again. I am so confused. First that Lord Handsome, but now dragons. Uh, you better free my sheep right now. I'm tired of everyone stealing my sheep from me. Come on, Hammy, we can defeat them. Uh, wait, this guy doesn't even work for the king. Uh, he's just a farmer that has an obnoxiously large ham that he's riding. This is the most confusing thing I've seen all day. Maybe even all week. Probably like in my entire life, honestly. Okay, maybe not that far, but still, this thing is crazy. At the same time though, with the ice and also the lightning, it can't move. I'm so sorry, Hammy and Farmer Man, but yeah, these are now my sheep. Honestly, that was most likely the easiest level ever, and I'm pretty sure it's because we have unlocked every single dragon. So we were able to use our entire army of dragons to just defeat every single troop that tried to get to our sheep today. Act number six. What's shaking, Bacon? Uh, well, this is a little bit awkward. I don't know if we should necessarily eat the farmer. It's probably not the best idea. All we need is the golden sheep. That's the only thing we're looking for for the dragon prince. Oh, wait a second. He knows about somebody else. The king. The king has the sheep. Make sure you guys leave a like with your left thumb and hit subscribe if you haven't already. In the next episode, we will be defeating dragon defenders and getting back the golden sheep.